It's a new year, which means we have a new list of top paying companies for software engineers. In this video, I'm going to tell you which companies pay the most money for entry level software engineers going all the way up to principal software engineers. At the end of the video, I'll give my overall recommendation for the best companies to work for if income is important to you. We have a lot to go over in this video, so I'm going to cut the intro short so we can get right into it. To start things off, let's talk about entry level software engineers who generally have no professional experience. This means they either graduated from college, completed a boot camp, or went the 100% self-taught route. Robinhood comes in at number seven where the average salary for an entry-level software engineer is $207,000 per year. The company is based out of Menlo Park, California, where a one-bedroom apartment rents for between $1,500 and $4,000 per month. So if you're wondering if the average salary is too much or too little, that's what it costs to live near their headquarters. Lyft and LinkedIn are tied for six plates. Both companies offer a salary of $215,000. Lyft is based out of San Francisco, California, where a one bedroom apartment starts at $1,700 and goes all the way up to $5,000. LinkedIn's office is in Sunnyvale, California, where one bedroom apartments are priced a bit lower, coming in between $1,700 and $3,500. Netflix took the number five spot with an average salary of $226,000. It's encouraging to see Netflix on the list because when I first covered the company in 2021, they were only hiring senior software engineers. The company's headquarters are located in Los Gatos, California, where a one bedroom apartment rents for between $1,900 and $3,500 per month. Stripe came in at number four. You can expect an offer as an entry level software engineer to be $227,000. The company is also based in San Francisco, so no need to talk about rent prices again. If you haven't heard about Stripe, the company provides payments infrastructure for the internet. Their products are used by millions of companies ranging from small startups to large technology companies like Lyft, Amazon, and Instacart. Roblox comes in at number three and pays their entry-level engineers $233,000 per year. Rent prices around San Mateo, California are between $2,000 and $3,500 for a one-bedroom apartment. Box takes the number two spot with an average salary of $236,000 per year. The company is based in Redwood City, California, where you can expect to pay between $2,000 and $3,700 for a one-bedroom apartment. Two Sigma took the number one spot and pays their entry-level software engineers a quarter of a million dollars per year. Along with paying the most, the company is also based out of New York City, which makes them the first company on the list that isn't in California. Because of how large New York City is, the rent prices will vary quite a bit. On the low end, you could get what is a studio apartment that's listed as a one bedroom for around $1,500 per month. You could also rent an actual one bedroom apartment for $3,400 per month. Next up, let's talk about the top paying companies for software engineers. To be at this level, you typically have at least two years of experience. Most companies also consider this to be a career level, which means you can stay at this level your entire career without being pushed out for not being promoted. Also, I created a video that goes more in depth about what is expected at each of these levels. So feel free to check that out after this video. Coming in at number seven, we have DoorDash, which pays their software engineers $287,000 per year. The company is based in San Francisco and primarily focuses on food delivery, which has become quite popular in recent years. Robinhood pays their software engineers $296,000 per year. The company provides users with a way to trade stocks and cryptocurrencies without paying any fees. Stripe pays their software engineers $298,000 per year, which is slightly more than Robinhood. Unfortunately, it still falls short of $300,000 per year. Box and Lyft are tied for fourth place with an average salary of $300,000 per year. Box is based in Redwood City, California and create collaboration software. As you already know, Lyft is based in San Francisco and our ride-sharing turned general transportation company. Instacart is also based in San Francisco and pays their software engineers $308,000 on average. Similar to DoorDash, the company also became more popular in recent years by providing a grocery delivery service. Then we have Cruise, which pays $333,000 to their software engineers. The company is based in San Francisco and specializes in self-driving technology. Currently, they have two cars, one is based on a Chevy Bolt and the other is fully self-driving without pedals or a steering wheel. The fully self-driving model isn't on roads yet, but it is ready for production. Taking the number one spot is Roblox, which pays $335,000 per year. The company provides a platform for developers to create immersive multiplayer experiences, which can be shared with millions of gamers around the world. Before we talk about top paying companies for senior software engineers, 
do me a favor and smash the like button if you are enjoying the video. Here's a picture of a baby corgi to show my appreciation. Airbnb pays their senior software engineers $415,000 per year, which is just enough to make it to seventh place. The company is based out of, you guessed it, San Francisco, California, and they specialize in short-term rentals. Lyft, Another company in the sharing economy space pays $416,000 per year. LinkedIn is back on the list and they pay $430,000 per year. Also, I have to say that LinkedIn has some of the best cafeteria food in the industry. It's not the healthiest, but it is the tastiest. ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, pays their senior software engineers $430,000 per year. The company is headquartered out of Beijing, China, and I have no idea what a one bedroom apartment goes for out there. With that said, they also have offices in Mountain View, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Austin, and Chicago. Robinhood hit the trifecta for software salaries by paying their senior software engineers $434,000 per year. Will they hit Superfecta status? Stick around until the end to find out. Pinterest pays $443,000 per year, which is enough to take third place. The social media company with an e-commerce twist is also headquartered in San Francisco. Stripe pays their senior software engineers $452,000 per year. To the surprise of hopefully no one, Netflix takes the number one spot for senior software engineer compensation by paying just over half a million dollars per year. It's also worth noting that the company has some of the best benefits and are also known for their controversial keeper test. If you are wondering what it takes to be a senior software engineer, it generally requires at least five years of experience. You are also expected to take on more complex technical initiatives. Moving on, staff software engineers typically make up less than 10% of a company's engineering workforce and usually have at least 10 years of experience. To start things off, we have Cruise, Amazon, and DoorDash tied for seventh place, all three companies pay $550,000 per year. Surprisingly, we haven't talked about Amazon yet. The company is headquartered in Seattle, Washington, where you can get a one bedroom apartment between one and $5,000 per month. Airbnb is back again, and they pay their staff software engineers $562,000 per year. One thing to keep in mind about these salaries is they are comprised of a base salary, stock grant, and target bonus. Every company does things a little differently, be sure to click the notification bell next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified when I release my in-depth video covering Airbnb. Next up is Meta, which also goes by Facebook. This Menlo Park-based company pays $570,000 on average. While the company is well known for their privacy or lack thereof, they are also a great place to distribute quizzes that no one cares about. Roblox, a company that is building out the metaverse, pays $590,000 per year to their staff software engineers. Instacart pays just over $600,000 per year, while Stripe does a bit better at $608,000 per year. Then LinkedIn pays the most for staff software engineers at $646,000 per year. Assuming you don't take any tax deductions and live in California, you'd receive $13,358 twice a month after taxes. Before taxes, you would make $26,916. So exactly half of your money goes to paying taxes. This assumes you are taking no deductions from your paycheck, which is very unlikely. Now, let's talk about the Galaxy Brain software engineer salaries. They generally make up less than 3% of a company's total software engineering headcount. Smaller companies can't even afford them. They are more commonly known as principal software engineers. To start things off, we have Microsoft, which is located in Redmond, Washington. They pay software engineers at this level $650,000. One bedroom apartments in this part of the country rent for between $1,500 and $2,900. Apple and Pinterest are tied for fifth place with average salaries of $750,000. Apple is located in Cupertino, California, where one bedroom apartments rent between $1,800 and $3,200 per month. Google pays their principal software engineers $800,000 per year. The company is based in Mountain View, California. If you want to know if you can afford a one bedroom apartment on the salary, yes. Yes, you can. Rounding out the top three, we have Lyft at $823,000 per year. Meta pays $940,000 per year. Roblox is the only company that pays over $1 million per year on average for principal software engineers. That's not to say other companies don't though. I was surprised that Fang didn't dominate every single list in this video. In fact, 
Netflix was the only fang company to take the number one spot this year. Stripe, on the other hand, was consistently a top paying company outside of the principal engineer level. After creating this video, my top three companies to work for in 2022 are Stripe, Netflix, and Roblox. If you are wondering how tech companies can afford to pay so well, then I'd recommend checking out this video I made on that exact topic. If you are into Discord and programming, then I'd also recommend checking out our community. A link can be found in the video's description.